You would think being a brainiac is a blessing, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, y'all with me every day. <laughs> but apparently, intelligence can be a burden, too. Mm. I was reading an article that offers advice for people who are too smart for their own good. This is real. If they don't have the proper communication skills, they can come off as know-it-alls and mm. make enemies instead of allies. So, ladies, what do you think about being too smart for your own good. Jax Nylon is too <laughs> smart for his own good. <laughs> Leave my Jax alone! <laughs> he is too smart for his own good. That boy drives me crazy. How so? Crazy, because he always has something to say. He always wants to top it off. He, um, he just thinks of the craziest things, and he makes them logical. And then you're like, oh, my God. Mm -hmm. We had him do an IQ test. His IQ is 150. What? Yes, sir. What's That's the, why he was so you get teacher to a genius. Okay. Yeah. You're like, <laughs> and it's not making me happy. <laughs> no, it's not making me happy because he always has something that makes you go, oh, I never thought of that. And the other day, I said to him, I said, you know, when you talk to someone, you don't have to talk to them in a way that they are, they <laughs> seem dumber than you. Mm -hmm. His mother. <laughs> You're like, when I say someone, when I, I say mean me. I to you. Yeah. Not anybody, but your mother. <laughs> so sometimes I think you can't be too smart for your own good. You have to know how to, when to be smart and when to just be regular. Yeah, yeah. You have to know <laughs> when regular, to be humble. Regular, regular, regular. Uh -huh. yes. You need to know when to be humble. You know what I mean? How about you? I mean, obviously you're very smart when it comes yeah. to mathematics and engineering. I think you should be proud <laughs> to be smart. I mean, you know, I, I went to Prairie View A&M University. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Part of the Texas A&M system. The college educated <laughs> will let you know they that like they are know. college educated. Okay. I'm here for it. Of Delta Sigma Theta Incorporated, uh, <laughs> part of the panel of cancer. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I don't know. <laughs> this is the thing, though. Most, I think you should be humble. Yeah. About your intelligence, and you shouldn't make people feel bad. And smart people know not to make someone else feel bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so that's the whole thing. And I think a lot of times he's just kidding with you. Yeah, he's probably. very intelligent, and I just like being around him because I learn so much from him. So. <laughs> he's also young, and he'll figure it yeah, out. He's 14. Yeah. I think the greatest intelligence, though, is emotional intelligence. Ooh. Oh. And that is the kind of intelligence that tells you that even if you know a lot more than someone, you're not going to make them feel less. That's and you're right. not going to be little them. Yeah. Um, I took this like way deep and I started thinking about the fact that there are people who actually know too much and it does weigh on them like a burden. Mm -hmm. um, I actually have a friend of mine who is low-key wildly genius and she also suffers with depression. Oh no. And I think the reason for that is it's almost like I know the inevitable. I know the the realities of the world. I understand that uh -oh. what our oxygen level is. I like that she's like yeah. very so, almost so smart that I think the reality of life sometimes is a lot for her to deal sure. with. Does she go to therapy? I have encouraged this. Right. Um, but I also think there's a, level, a part of her that thinks she's too smart for therapy. Because imagine you sit in these therapy sessions and she already knows what you're going to ask her. She already knows what direction you're taking this conversation in. She's too smart for her own good. Wow. And I one day was talking to her and I was like, well, damn, if that's the case, ignorance really is bliss because there's people that walk around just genuinely happy not recognizing all the things that are going on right. in the world. You know, I love uh, those type of people because I love arguing with them. Because they, when they think they're too smart for their own good, I'm always trying to figure something out to make them go, see, you're not that smart. Or it could be this, <laughs> or it could be that. Or you're wrong, yeah. you're wrong. You know, and then I usually end up crying. But the point is, oh my God. I Bonnie. tried, okay? Yeah. I tried. But I, I don't get, do you get intimidated by her because of her, her level of That's intelligence? A good question. No, because although I don't believe I have book smart, I, I do think that I am an empathetic person. Like, I can have a conversation. And, and I think the best part is to not be ashamed of not knowing. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm always yes. down to learn. So I think that still makes you the smartest person in the room if you're really open to learning. Learning. And you're like, oh, my gosh, right. I don't understand that. Can you explain it to me? Right. So and there's it doesn't nothing wrong with saying, I don't know. Yeah. I feel like sometimes I have a girlfriend of mine who's always right. She knows everything before oh, you say it. Oh, that's so annoying. And it's just like, it's okay not to know everything. Yeah. I'm okay I'll, I'll, I'll learn. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> I love my my fancy way. My fancy way of saying is I don't know. Is, I'm yeah. so sorry. Part of my ignorance. What does that mean? Like it sounds like my elite she she foo -foo version of be like bitch. I don't know. I'm dumb. Right? Like that's what I really want. But instead, I'm like I'm so sorry. Part of my ignorance. Like, can you just repeat that again? 
It works. That's a good it one. Works. I'm going to use that. I'm yeah. going to use that. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go on. Uh, some people on Reddit have been sharing secrets about their jobs. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, they are not holding back. From yeah. sneaky sales tactics to lying to the customer and more, people are spilling the beans. So, ladies, let's follow suit. Do you have any old or new job secrets? Oh, for sure. What is um, first? When I was 14 going on 15, mm -hmm. one of my favorite cousins, shout out to Heidi Claudette, um, she actually, <laughs> yes, I have a sister and a cousin named Claudette. I was Everybody like, was named Claudette because it was a hurricane that hit Puerto Rico. Oh, no. Lord. So, um. Was a hurricane Claudette? There was a hurricane Claudette. Okay. Literally. That's so, that um, history. Heidi Claudette moved from Puerto Rico to New York and uh, we would do everything together. Mm -hmm. And we actually would tell my mom that on the weekends I was staying over her house. She actually would house sit her mom's boss's house in Manhattan in the oh. city. Well, I live in the city too, but in like upper Shishi Fufu area. Anyway, we would stay there, right? Guys, I worked in a nightclub at 14 going on 15 <gasps> as a birthday girl list. What we would do is we would walk around and we would get people's names uh, when they were born and we would tell them that they could get discounts on tables and also shout outs oh, from go. the DJ on their birthday. And we drink Long Island iced teas and I was so young wait, this whole time. Wait, 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 you, you was drink? underage? It was completely you... underage. And it was me and my cousin. My cousin was older than me, though. And it was a job she had. And I would go along with her and help her out. And I'd be like, hi, I'm the party. I'm the birthday list girl. So, mom, uh, now you know. Ooh, at yes. 14. I was 14 when I'm 15. Or, yeah, or, or I was 15. That's a secret. Mm -hmm. I worked at um, Dollar rent car at Miami Airport, International Airport. And when people come, if I like them and they couldn't afford insurance, I always gave them the insurance for free. <laughs> That's actually really nice. Because, listen, do you imagine if you get into a car accident, how much you have to pay? Yeah. So if you're renting a car, I would always give them the insurance. And it's I gotta here. say, and it's here. there's someone that a few years later was watching the Jamie Foxx show, and they were like, oh my God, Fancy <laughs> gave me the insurance for free.